So the media has certainly impacted our lives and whether you feel addicted technically or not the goal of apps and games and social media is to keep you engaged so the big question to our dr partha nandy is how can we resist being lured in by technology dr nandy is it a matter of self-control or is there more to it so there's a lot more than self-control a poll actually found that 69 percent of parents and 78 percent of teams feel the need to check their devices at least hourly. Mm -hmm. Now what's driving this impulse is that computer coding gets specifically developed to influence your behavior and make the product feel essential to life. Now hearing or seeing an app notification can pique your curiosity. You feel compelled to check it out and then your brain is rewarded when your content gets the almighty like or share and many people, especially teenagers, check in and respond quickly because they don't want to feel like they're missing out on anything. Yeah, how can we resist, do you think, technology temptation? It's really tough, but the internet, you know, is, is not going to disappear. So it's important that families create healthy digital lifestyles. So my prescriptions to resist device addiction. So first of all, turn off notifications while at work and school. That way you don't see any pings that trigger you to reach for your device. Number two, set a daily timer, allowing yourself a specific amount of screen time to check your apps and feeds. You'll be more focused and get more accomplished. Also, skip the free games and actually buy the paid versions. The free games offer in app purchases really aim to keep you playing and buying even more often. Finally, you know, I love this practice mindfulness. It'll help you address that always on feeling that mm -hmm. lets you and pause long enough to decide if you really need to check your mobile device at all. You know, I, I think it's hard enough for adults as we deal with it, but is it actually dangerous, do you think, this addiction, especially for our teenagers? They can't ever seem to put the phones down. And, Joan, we've talked about this before, yeah. but it's alarming that kids and teens can spend more than seven hours a day mm -hmm. on smartphones, TVs, computers, and other electronic devices. This can be a source of friction for a lot of families. Plus, only one in three kids actually get the recommended 60 minutes, one hour of exercise a day. Kids who are physically active tend to be more successful and academically motivated, so it's important that we as parents Parents set screen limits and encourage their kids to develop healthy habits. I know you do that and I do that at home as well. Yeah, it's so important to do for sure. Dr. Nandy, thank you. Seven hours a day. That is that is alarming yeah. for sure. All right.